Linux commands for iPhone users. Let's now talk about file management uh, commands. The first one we are going to be working on is the cp command, okay, which is the um, which is the command you can use to copy your file. So if I do something like ls and I have file.txt, I can do something like cp file.txt. Now I'll specify the name of the file, the target file. So I can do something like backup. No. Backup dot txt backup.txt so ls you see now i have backup.txt i can now decide to do cat backup.txt just to be sure that i have the same content in the two files and you can see i have the same content so that works now the next thing that we want to do is to use the mv command to either move a file or to rename an existing file so for this to work let me make a new directory and call it new okay ls so you can see that I have this new folder, I have backup.txt and I have file.txt. So the first thing one I'm going to be doing is to use, um, okay, let me rename this file first. Instead of having backup.txt, let me just have content.txt. So I can use um, mv, then the initial name, backup.txt, then I'll call it content.txt, ls. Now you see that I'm not having backup.txt anymore. Now I'm having content.txt. So if I do something like I'm um, cut content.txt return, you can see I'm having I'm, I preserve the content. I only changed the name. Okay. Now what if I want to move content.txt into this new folder, this new um, folder that I just created? Very simple. I can just say mv, then I'll pass in content, then I'll bring in the target folder new, but I'll have to pass this as well. So ls, you see, I'm not having um, content.txt anymore. Let me ls that new folder. You can see this content.txt now exists in the new folder that I moved it into. So that is um, that about that. So for the rm command, we use it to delete files. Okay, you can use it to delete files or folders, and I'll show you how to do the two. For now, let me cd into new ls. So I want to delete content.txt rm then content.txt ls you see the content the new folder is now empty because i initially i was having content.txt but now i don't have any um, file anymore so let me see the into the parent directory now let me use that rm command to also remove this folder rm now i have to pass the r flag then i'll specify the name of the folder ls you see, I don't have the new folder anymore. So we also have some other commands, like um, if you want to clean the terminal, if the terminal is becoming too messy for you, you can just clear the terminal using the clear command. You see, the terminal is now clear. If you want to show the current date time, you can use the date command. You can see the current date time when I'm recording this tutorial.